Hello, we are going to be doing chapter 8, lesson 4 today. Um, last time, in our last lesson, we talked about equivalent fractions, uh, fractions that basically mean the same thing, um, or represent the same amount, but just are written differently. And we used models to figure out what those things were. Today we're going to use multiplication to basically save us the time of having to get out the models and make it work. Um, but we'll look at some models to kind of demonstrate how this works. So our first example, it says a recipe for spaghetti and meatballs calls for three quarters pound of ground beef. Find two fractions that are equivalent to three-fourths. Use models. So here on the thing they have our three-fourths on that top row that you can see. And, and then on our second row they have used one-eighth tiles. And so we have our one eights. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six eighths means the same as three fourths. And then they also have the one twelfth tiles. Um, the one eighth tiles are smaller than the one fourth tiles, so there's more of them. And the one twelfth tiles are also smaller than the one eighth tiles. So there's more of them. Now let's talk about this real quick, just so you understand why um, the pieces are smaller. In, our, in a fraction, we have the numerator and the denominator. The numerator tells us how many pieces we have, and the denominator tells how many pieces the whole is divided into. So in the fraction 1 half, um, if we had a candy bar here, it's saying that we're cutting that one candy bar into two pieces, that's the denominator, and then the part that we eat is the one, so that's one half. Um, as we cut that candy bar into more pieces, now I've cut it into four pieces, so we have two pieces that are shaded still, but we've cut the candy bar into smaller pieces, but that makes the denominator a bigger number because we have more pieces that we cut the hole into. Okay, let's look at this. That's a little off topic, but I felt like it was important to review our fractions. Now let's look down here. It says if we multiply the numerator and denominator by the same number, that's the same as 1. So let's explain that just a minute. If I have this same candy bar, and I've cut it up into four pieces, but then I eat all four pieces, how many candy bars did I eat? I, I ate one candy bar, right? So four. I ate all four out of four pieces, which is the same as one. I'm running out of room here, but. So it's the same as one if we, t if we use the same numerator and denominator to multiply, then it's the same as one. And what we can learn from that is any number times 1 is equal to that number. So 5 times 1 is 5. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, 6 times 1 is 6. 35 times 1 is 35. And fractions are the same. 3 fourths times 1 is 3 fourths. But we can change that 1 into a fraction. For example, here they've change that one into the fraction of two over two, which is the same as one. But we do, when we multiply fractions, we multiply straight across. Three times two is six, and four times two is eight. And so we find out that six eighths 
is the same as 3 fourths, and you can see that up here in the model. Um, 3 fourths times 3 over 3, 3 times 3 is 9, 4 times 3 is 12, so 9 twelfths, as you can see up here, is the same as 3 fourths. Let's go ahead and go down to the next page. Okay, it says you can use multiplication to write fractions with a denominator of 10 as an equivalent fractions with denominators of 100. So this is focusing more on the tens and the hundreds. Um, it says Liliana has a container of dry beans. The table shows the fraction of each type of bean. Which type of bean shows the fraction is equivalent to three-tenths of the container? So here they have three-tenths. We, if we times the top by 10 over 10, 3 times 10 is 30. Oops, we need to make it so I can write. So 30 and 10 times 10 is 100. And if we look up here, the one that has 30 one hundredths happens to be the container of lima beans. Whoops. Okay, let's go. I can get her to school. Okay. says write the fraction for the part that is shaded then find an equivalent fraction so how many pieces do we have all together there's four equal pieces and two of those are shaded um, and we're using multiplication in this lesson so we could times this by say 2 over 2 2 times 2 is Four and two times four is eight. So four eighths would be an equivalent fraction. Um, we could times two over four by, we'll say five. Whoops. Let's. Let's write this again. Two over four. And we're going to write the 5 as 5 over 5, which is the same as 1. And we're again times those. So 2 times 5 is 10. And 4 times 5 is 20. So we have 10 twentieths that's an equivalent fraction. You'll also notice that half of that shaded, so you could even throw in one half as an equivalent fraction. Our next one is one third. There's one shaded piece out of three pieces, and we could do one third times two over two. Two times two is two. One time, two times one is two. And 3 times 2 is 6. And so 2 6 is an equivalent fraction. We could also do 1 third times 3 over 3. 1 times 3 is 3. And 3 times 3 is 9. And so 3 ninths is also an equivalent fraction.